Right, welcome everybody to another Modo League. Going to be running some Goro's Vengeance through today. It's another one on my list of things to try just narrowing down the decks I have for the Axia Now Mega Modern here in the UK next week. So this is a Modo user RVNG's list. Uh, they play a lot of um, this this archetype, so um, seem to be the, the best place to start. Um, so if people haven't seen the Goryeo's Vengeance deck before, I think I've played it once on the channel, but essentially you're trying to use Goryeo's Vengeance to put a big uh, hasty threat into play um, as early as turn 2, more likely turn 3. So you um, attract her, obviously draws you loads of cards, Grizzlebrand and Ulamog is a, is a new one. Um, but yeah, get to Put one of those into play, attack with it, and with either Grizzlebrand or Atraxa, you get to look for Ephemerate, which lets you keep the creature around. Um, so this archetype did used to run four copies of Grief. Uh, obviously that has now been banned, so it's adapting. Um, it's now running four copies of Thoughtseize. Um, and then rounding it out is like supporting roles, I guess, removal and leyline binding and solitude, counter spells, force negation, and sinking to super and stuff. And then we have some alternative ways to put creatures from our graveyard into play. So we have Emperor of Bones, which is uh, it's two, two for two. And then at the beginning of combat, you can exile a card from a graveyard. And then whenever one or more counters are put on Emperor of Bones, you can reanimate it and give it haste. And for two mana, I think two mana to adapt to, I think that's just put two counters on it. So you can do that. And you can do that at instant speed, I think. And then the other one is Priest of Fell Rites, um, which, yeah, again, you can pay three life and tap it to reanimate something from the graveyard. Sideboard, relatively straightforward. We've got some Wrath of the Skies against energy, some consigns and things against uh, the big, big mana decks and stuff. Uh, anti-graveyard hate and uh, some magistrates against storm so usual kind of modern modern graveyard you can see rvng here um third place at the moment in the uh on the trophy leaderboard and this august the 30th list is uh the <laughs> the list i'm taking All right actually here for round number two um after a, yeah i didn't manage to record round number one it took a loss to uh eldrazi it was close um managed to win game one but then just got stone brained out of games games two and three um with mulligan to six here we're gonna keep this hand it sounds really good and then we'll bottom um i think given that we've got our plan a we'll probably bottom the emperor yeah We'll probably lead with shadowy back street. Basic swamp could be could be mono black, could be a number of things. Let's go shadowy back street. Um, what do we think about that one? Yeah, I think we can have that one on top. But we are going to want to. Want to do that? So this is okay. Knight's whisper from the opponent. Okay, draw the ephemerate. So play the land and pass. I suppose we could get bow mastered. All this trouble with um, Ulamog is we haven't actually got anything in exile yet. Okay, so let's go and get. Uh, yep, yeah, Watery Grave. I think we'll go for a. Yeah, we'll just go for Faith um, Tainted Indulgence now that we've drawn that one. Discard an Ulamog. Uh, so I don't actually want to put it in just yet. I, I will um, take a turn to 
just set up. So let's go. Both these come in tap, so let's go to meticulous. Oh, uh, maybe we should have played this back. Oh, thought sees. Yeah, we want that one. And then we'd quite like to force something here. Um, yeah, probably should have played the Zeotoras there. Okay, can't force that one. Can binding it though. Oh, probably should have faithful mending in response, but oh no, no, we can have Goreos. And then we can actually go, actually, yeah, this is fine, because we can go binding the Shieldred. Uh, so play the land. Annihilate X. X is the number of plus, oh, number of plus one plus one counters on it. Oh, I thought it had Annihilator. Ah, okay. So let's just go. We'll attack with Ulamog. It's learning how Ulamog works. Then we'll go binding. The Shieldred. Thought sees our opponent. Ah, consume me corrupt. Okay, so it's the big mana sort of black deck. Um, they're not going to be able to. Yeah, we'll just take March here. And then we'll ephemerate the Ulamog. Oh, this comes back in, right? Okay, so it now has 10 counters on it. <laughs> because... Equal to the greatest mana value among cards in exile. So did it see itself? Anyone knows why that works that way? Uh, please do let me know. <laughs> um, it's entered with number plus one. I'm not sure that's how it's meant to work, but we'll, uh, oh, I mean, it would have at least had four with Shieldred, but um, I'm not sure it's meant to do that, but do let me know if I'm, I'm wrong here. Okay, so look, it's coffers. So we might want subtlety. We do want the extra solitude probably. They play, I mean, they're going to play four rings. Celestial Purge seems like a winner. Uh, force, probably okay. Want all of our big hitters. Leyline Binding's fine, Solitude's fine. Maybe we don't want Force. Well, yeah, because they're, they're going to be on Khan. Um, maybe we don't want all these Solitudes. Like, we don't care as much about Shieldred in this list. We trim those. Although Solitude is a decent plan B, I guess. I think we want Subtlety. And then just trim around the edges, maybe. Maybe trim one. Trim one binding, is that crazy? One binding, one priest. Trim one force, maybe another binding. We'll see how that goes. Okay. And what do we think of this? This hand is, yeah, this sounds good. Sounds really good, actually. Got a lot to like. I can play the archaeologist on two. Okay, binding's okay. Thought sees. Yeah, I think I'm happy to, to have a thought sees on top. <laughs> I'll probably 
end up I don't know, it depends what the opponent does a little bit. Got a little bit of a slower start. Okay, we get thought seized. They'll probably take Gorio's Vengeance. What are we af yeah, they do take Gorio's Vengeance. What are we afraid of on three mana? I think I'm just gonna play the archaeologist. Go get blue white probably. Okay. Hit sink, which is fine. We do hit an attracts here in the graveyard, which is nice. Sink also counting as our, our third land here. Field of Ruin is fine. They can field us. Go and get a swamp. Yep. Okay, Knight's Whisper. So I think we're Thought Seas now. Another track, sir. Hmm. So they could play Khan. We actually don't really care too much about. I think I'll just play. Actually, I think I'll just play this and pass. Because then we can taint his indulgence, look for. We could also ephemerate the archaeologist. Okay, demolition field. Looks like they're gonna field us. Okay, so we do have a basic planes. Uh, I'll float blue. Get the planes. Um, oh, we don't have an ephemerate. Yeah, I did forget about that one. Uh, <laughs> well, let's go for this anyway. I thought this was ephemerate, I think. <laughs> okay, well, we'll chuck a track, sir. That's fine. Okay, draw another tainted indulgence. So we'll play this one. We only have one swamp. I think I'm just gonna thought seize now. Okay, they have a lot of good stuff, so let's take the ring. The deck's quite expensive in terms of mana. We do have another demolition field. They have a fatal push as well, which is fine. We can obviously just Celestial Purge Shield Druid. Float blue. That is all our basics. Shieldred. Ooh, can't. Okay. Just get that out of there. Might main phase tainted indulgence now. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. 
Oh, that is just a draw two. Uh, which we kind of wanted it to be, I suppose. Play the land, pass the turn. Depending on what we have to do here, we can either surveil or we can cycle our Jet Mears Garden. And it plays a swamp. Uh, oh, we can't force that. Well, that was dumb, wasn't it? Oh, no, I had to tap for indulgence. Um, do I try and draw a blue card? I think so. Oh, they can't play Shieldred as well. Okay, not quite, but we've got the binding for it. Let's see what they go and get. We get Tormod's Crypt. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's annoying. We have got another one in. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm surprised the opponent didn't go for it immediately. So what we can do now is just go binding for one mana. The opponent will try and crypt in response, and then we just Gorio's Vengeance. We have ephemerate as well. Um, so we'll take meticulous archive, consigned to memory, thought sees. Uh, yep, that's fine. We'll attack Khan. Then we'll ephemerate Khan down, ephemerate here. Get some more stuff. take I guess what do we want in terms of creature does it matter we'll take a backup Goryeo's Vengeance take the Archaeologist do you want another Surveil Land I kind of hmm, I don't know if we have anything for Flow Strands so let's take another Surveil Land play that one Well, we'll put that one to the graveyard. <laughs> Sometimes you do get lucky as well with the... Um, uh, we'll discard... I guess we just discard Ulamog here to hand size. We can actually win the game this turn. There's no tracks are in the graveyard. Opponent's got a shield dread. But we're not going to care too much about that. This archaeologist is pretty much just used for for force fodder now. It's going to be a march or something. Yep. So then, yeah, we just Gorio's Vengeance back the Ulamog. It comes in with seven counters and attacks with Annihilator 7. Okay, well, good to get the win. See you for round number three. Right, round number three here. Got to keep this hand on the draw against a Kahira deck. Mm, 
Uh, yeah, actually, this this basic planes is kind of awkward with these tainted indulgences. I really need to start looking at that. <laughs> okay, so it's a uh, looks like a control deck. Okay, we luck out of it. Drawing our third land. Okay, so looks like binding. So we need blue mana. Get an under city sewers, I think. Um, I think I'm happy to have another land. I think I'm just gonna jam while well, they're kind of shields down. If they binding this, we don't really care. It's, this pause makes me think subtlety. But I'd be a little bit surprised if they went for that. Okay, so we'll take Gorio's Vengeance. Pass the turn. So hand shaping up okay. Just need to find one of our large threats obviously solitude um, yeah solitude is a worry from the opponent okay solitude pitch temporary lockdown is fine we're happy with that not sure we got more of those uh, do we I think I'm just going to play another one. Well, I'll take another Gorio's Vengeance. <laughs> so stacking them up. Archaeologist has done its job there. So we're probably going to want to play it fairly slowly and definitely go for it in the opponent's turn. Okay, the one ring is interesting. So we could go for it now and guarantee it resolves. I think what I'm going to do is, so we could go for it now, they go force. I guess what we're worried about is solitude. I think, I don't know, let me know what you do here. I think I want to wait because we don't get the hit in with it. Maybe I meant to just go for it now if they force. The trouble is if they force, I guess. If they force Argorio's Vengeance number one, then we Goro's Vengeance number two, but then we haven't got enough mana for the Ephemerate. Okay, to fair, oh, that's really annoying. So we could do it now just to try and draw. I think I'm gonna Tainted Indulgence first. Discard another attractor so now do we just go for it just to draw cards I think so because we might hit a force and there is another attractor in the graveyard now Yeah, there's a force. Force, thought seas, marsh flats, binding. So that was pretty good. <laughs> so, and then we'll go force the Teferi. Pitching. I think an archaeologist. Obviously, we don't get the. Tracks a trigger. 
that we don't get to hit in with it but we do next turn and we'll have a thought seize okay prismatic endings fine okay so we've got choices here i think yeah the best plan is just we'll fetch shock i think we can fetch shock here yeah get a watery grave we can go thought seize Goria's vengeance ephemerate okay they do have a solitude so we'll hmm, they have quite a lot of stuff we'll take the solitude because that yeah, we'll take the solitude because we want to get a hit in. Uh, Gorio's Vengeance, the Atraxa. I'm actually going to take Ulamog here. I'll take definitely Force. Ulamog, Land. And then, yeah, we'll go for the ephemerate. Okay, we find another thought seize, which is nice. Take the thought seize, take the priest, take another land. Kind of doing it all here. So we take the verdict can't counter that one then we can just move to discard discard the Ulamog and the priest and land and yeah <laughs> good to go okay opponents at seven we can emperor of bones next turn potentially It does still have five cards. I will force a Teferi. Uh, pitch the Archaeologist, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're not going to cast this, obviously. No. So then we can just go, oh, we can actually do the priest. I think I'm going to do that because it can't be countered. Get Ulamog back. Oh, it doesn't have haste. Oh, should have got Emperor of Bones. Yeah, that was dumb. God, I'm learning now. <laughs> So yeah, the priest reanimates stuff, but not only with haste. So I should have gone Emperor of Bones, activate Emperor. I mean, that's worse until like Leyline Binding, I suppose. I mean, I could have just attacked with the tracks there as well. Okay, Mystical Disputes in Subtlety in. Uh, we saw the ring, so we can sign in. We can cut the Solitudes. We can cut maybe the bindings. Like bindings get into like the fairy. But I think that's fine cutting those. I think priest is good. I think maybe one emperor. Just because they can solitude it in response. Uh this hand's very well actually it's not great, is it? We need We'll keep it. We need a reanimation. But Force can pitch a Traxa. Okay, another Gorios. Obviously, the absolute uh, <laughs> nuts here would be to surveil in a, a big thing into the graveyard. Uh, 
uh, what color? I think just under city sewers. Well, there we go. Zero mana in tomb. I think we go for it in their turn. I think just in their yeah, in their end step. Obviously if they go to fairy we've got four, so uh so we want more black mana probably, so we're gonna get Godless Shrine. Cast Gorio's Vengeance. I've got a force. Okay, we have the dispute. So we really want to find a land now. Well, actually, it doesn't matter too much. I mean, we're going for it, right? There's no way we're not here. Because we need to find a land as well. Well, we find Ephemerate and we find a land. <laughs> yep, and opponent concedes. Okay, so making a few mistakes, but good to good to learn. Um, I think, the deck, yeah, the deck's doing incredibly powerful things, so... Um, it feels a little bit like creativity used to just doing something unfair. Not running any psychic frogs in this list is a bit more all in, I guess. Um, but do have six reanimation targets, which is nice. But we'll move on to round number four. Right, beyond the play here. Um, no, I don't think this hand is good enough. We need. We've got a lot of lands. We can look for it. We do have two parts of the... I'm going to keep it for... Yeah, for science. See what... Uh, yeah, see what we can, we can do. We need to find a... Just a discard outlet. Priest of Fell Rites. Yeah, let's see if that goes into the graveyard. Um... Need to look up what adapt is as well. I don't I think you can only do it once. Like, I don't think you can adapt if it already has a counter on it. A little bit annoying to hit priest into the graveyard there, just because it de well, it definitely gives away what we're doing. Uh right. Do we think we're gonna have to binding something? Can we binding something? Plain swamp. No, don't think so. So we'll just play. We could play out Emperor of Bones, but I don't think we want to do that either. I think I'm just going to go Marsh Palace Pass. Again, we've got the possibility to just high roll a uh, a big threat into the graveyard. Commercial District. Creativity. Okay, speaking of creativity. Could be round six here. Yep. Okay, that's fine. We'll be binding the Renan six. Let's go get, I think, Undercity Sewers here. Hmm. Like ephemerate is fine. I think I'm digging further. Okay. So let's just go Jetmere's Garden binding the Renan Six. Emperor of Bones can also target the opponent's stuff, which is interesting. 
four patch formation destroy target creature with flying target enchantment or draw a card create food that's a cool one another emperor Uh, let's go and do the archive. Graveyard that one. Play the M. Um, we can play out the Emperor to sort of tease out a bolt. Given that we've got another one. Yep. I guess we could have maybe just played it and then adapted two. They couldn't, uh, yeah, couldn't do it. Okay, here's Dwarven Mine. Okay, the Ice Land, that's fine. Okay, we draw Indulgence. So we do like that. So let's go. I guess we play the island. Is this swamp? No, we'll, we'll shock this in. Just in case we um, we're nearly at hard casting attracts alone, not far off. Okay, we pour patch formation again. Very cool card, fle very flexible. Don't you be flying? I guess I can use that to remove our attractor looks like they're I don't know what they're putting in with them um, creativity oh actually I guess now we've got the ability to priest so blue black so we, yeah, we yeah we definitely want to discard this here, discard this one. I'm gonna go for the attractor. So we go priest because it's it's more reliable than emperor of bones. I can't counterspell it. So we'll take Force Thought Seas. Yeah. Uh, Solitude. Uh, Delta. Planes. Play the land. Get a swarm, just thought seize the opponent. Mana tithe. Okay, they have double binding. Mana Tithe is a good one to know about. We run binding as well. Let's take one binding. Like obviously we come out ahead here. Just looking for creativity, but without access to Oh, Mana Tithe, actually, if they find a creativity. Yeah. Yeah, if they find a creativity exactly now, I think we lose.
Where did this one come from? Not sure. Oh, we are going to have to deal with Brennan 6 somehow. Actually, that is becoming a problem. Okay. Hmm. So then they can just bolt us three times. So we're going to have to look for something here. Mm, okay, so we need a creature in there. So let's go archaeologist. I guess we should play our basic first. Archaeologist. Right, we need to be a bit lucky here and hit. Okay, well, Ley Line Binding is actually really good as well. Oh, we hit an Atraxa as well. Okay, so let's go Gorio's Vengeance. Yeah, obviously we hit really well here. So we'll take... Uh, yeah, okay, opponent concedes. I was going to take... I think I was going to take a tractor there as the creature just to have... Oh no, we take the archaeologist just to have a force. So we go archaeologist force, like, yeah, stuff. But we get to kill the Renan Six. So yeah, we got we got lucky with the uh with the mill there. Okay, so what do we see? We didn't see much blue. We don't even know what they're creativity -ing into. Um Do we hedge at what we think it's gonna be? We didn't see black, so it's not likely that they're on the persist plan. Uh, we didn't see they're not going to be on ring I think solitude yes emperor is probably a little bit awkward subtlety no I think we'll just try that oh, we, oh I should have brought in purges actually a bit too, a bit too quick there but it deals with Brennan 6 this sounds great. Um, just need to find Gorio's Vengeance. Okay, another track, sir. Yeah, slowly. Like it's a bit. There is a little bit of tension with Leyline binding. Uh, the fact that I kind of want to fetch our surveil lands. But then, yeah, Leyline, Leyline Binding does not like that. I guess you only have to fetch one at some point. Okay, we'll go and get uh, Backstreet here. It's the one we don't have. Um, mending. I'm going to graveyard that. It's got flashback as well. Okay. Um, I doubt, yeah, they're not going to be on like Blood Moon or anything like that. So, um, I wonder if I meant to cast Archaeologist instead. No, because we've got the Attractor to discard. Right, they surveil. Put it on top. They do have mana tithe in their list. Okay, Fable. I'm gonna indulgence in response. Just if we hit a force, we might want to do that. OK, 
Okay. Hmm. What now? We could go solitude, ephemerate, solitude. Actually, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go shop this in, play this. Uh, take a Gorios and then go Solitude, Pitch, Solitude. Get rid of this and then just ephemerate the Solitude. Because then we still have a good answer next turn. I guess maybe we should have done that at sorcery speed. I, was, uh, I think I'm playing too afraid of mana tithe. Just need to untap here, really. Apparently, this guy's Renan 6 Fable, so they're probably looking for yeah anything that stops what we're trying to do. Okay, prismatic ending's fine. They could have like turn the earth or something. Do we just Gorios right now? I think so. Keep our solitude. Sorry, keep our um our tracks are ready. Uh, ephemerate ready. We we will lose out on seven damage, but I think worth it here. Just about. They do have turn the earth. Okay. So don't want to cast that one. Find another Gorios. We can attack. This does have flashback, so yeah, we'll be wary of that. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get meticulous archive another surveil land. Mm. Yeah, I think we want the force. Go for an attack here. Okay. So yeah, we're able to ephemerate the solitude to take out reflection if we need to. Okay. See if they go for an attack. If they do, I probably will ephemerate. Okay, priest is not the best one. I'd rather hold up. Just these two cards, I think. I suppose the opponent can go Reflection, Copy, Dwarf, but is that that good? They can gain some life with Turn the Earth. I think it gains life. Yeah, gain two life. Slowly beating them down with this Solitude. Other land for the opponent. Yeah, I'll take one here. Okay, 
for land, play it. Attack with solitude. I'm just going to play the priest. Well, actually, possibly not. Okay, so double block. So I'm just going to ephemerate now. Exile the Kiki Jiki. Dwarf goes, and then we get to potentially eat something next turn. So we can be pretty confident the opponent doesn't have a bolt or something in hand. They may have sided out with their bolts. Okay, it's an Archon of Cruelty. So that's what they try to put in. They could have one in hand. Actually, if they have one in hand, that's very bad. Oh no, because we can discard the Atraxa and then Gorio's Vengeance it, so. We could also be representing subtlety, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to cast this. I'd rather just keep bashing in with our solitude. Okay, Delta. We do have one more. One more surveil land. Okay, ley line binding. I'm not going to force that one. I think I will just cast the priest now, though. All right, still a good attacker. And if we find a, if we manage to get a, a, a tractor into the graveyard, then we can do this and then this as well. Okay, sewers. Uh, yeah, happy to put that one on top. Just digs us a little bit further. Play the archaeologist. Um, I think I'm going to take Indulgence. It's close because Leyline Binding hits Solitude. Maybe we're just on that plan at the moment. No, I'm going to take the Indulgence. But still play it pretty slow. No reason to rush. Also, binding at the moment is three mana. I guess what we want to avoid, I think I'm going to wait another turn to do this, because if we go Tainted Indulgence now, actually Tainted Indulgence now is fine. We discard a Traxxer. Guard the attracts uh and then we go to our turn. We have the priest on the field already, so we can go priest attracts uh they'll go for turn the earth. We will Gorio's vengeance, I think. Gorio's Vengeance, the Atraxa. Because Gorio is obviously a better one to put it in here. 
fail of summer. So I'll have to, that would draw a card. That's fine. They're just going for drawing a card, I think. Like as a last ditch. So they could, they could have gone Veil of Summer in something else. Okay, well, they don't find it. So we are 3-0. and Well, 3-0 and on this. I did get, as I say, beaten by uh, El Trazi. But um, yeah, keep it going. Right, on the draw here, we have Emperor of Bones, we have one thing, I think we're gonna mulligan this one. Gigantha, so looks like this will be energy. Gonna keep this one, I think, I think I'm gonna bottom the ley line binding, or is it the priest? No, we have a, we have a reanimation uh, thing, so obviously the absolute, Ideal here again is uh, archaeologists, sorry, understitures mill over a tractor. That's not great. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, be graveyarding that one. I don't want uh, Ragavan hitting that. Could be Zoo here. Okay, they hit Gorio's Vengeance, that's fine. Okay, Guide of Souls. Pass. Okay, they hit an Ephemerate. So we go land, Archaeologist. Archaeologist blocking is obviously pretty good. Hmm. Okay, let's take the Indulgence, I think. they'll shoot this with uh, discharge or something obviously flage is a little bit annoying yeah there it is Okay, archaeologist down. If we don't draw a land, I think we have to tainted indulgence. Um, yeah, I think so. We can find solitude and land potentially. Okay, we find two lands, that's good. Uh, let's discard a faithful mending, I think, and then play a land and pass. We have a ley line binding now, so I'm probably going to go and get an off color. Let the Ragavan hit us. If I jet me his garden, that's fine. Don't blood moon me, please. Okay, Gigantha to hand. So that is a little bit awkward because they can haste it next turn. So do we go and get Zeatoras in the hope that we can, yeah, I think so. Cause then we can binding that potentially. Okay, let's go archeologist first. Archeologist with these two lands. See what we find. Apparently, it's got three cards in hand. Okay, we find Ephemerate. We'll play out our Marsh Flats and pass. 
obviously quite interested in getting a basic here. Do without the opponent not putting too many cards in their graveyard. That Jetmere's Garden hit from the Ragavan is actually quite annoying because we m would have been able to hold up double white here for binding and ephemerate. Okay, they're going with haste. Hopefully this is just Gigantha. Yep. Has haste. Fortunately, no more creatures. Okay. Let's go and get white. Oh no. Oh, the planes is in the bin. Oh, that's not good. Um, oh, how have I managed that? Uh, graveyard, this one. And then I think I'm just blocking the Ragavan. Taking five, six. Yeah, I think so. I don't want them hitting. I don't want them making mana either, potentially. Okay, so we really need to hit a uh, something big here. Okay, thought sees. Not really the one we want. So let's go ephemerate this. Um, oh, we're dead anyway, I think if we don't find something. So let's go shock this in, ephemerate here. Uh, ephemerate again. Need an attractor. Well, we don't hit it. We haven't got any planes either. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty rough. We've dug through half of our deck and haven't seen haven't seen a threat here. Uh, we can go block here, take 3. Yeah, we're just dead. Well, that was rough. Like, uh, uh, yeah, a bit of a... Um, yeah, like, f all six of our threats were in the bottom half of our library. So we'll bring in Wrath of the Skies, Celestial Purge, and all of the elemental stuff. What do we cut here? Probably thought sees. Um Ulamog's not that great. Just because Anni well, and I mean Annihilator 7 is still still pretty good. Um Force can come out as well. Yeah. Like I can see a consideration for Spellbomb for Flage, but I don't think the games will necessarily go that long. I think we'll either get run over really quickly or like a track series or Ulamog or whatever is just bigger. Right, what do we think of this? I think it's fine. We've got half of the combo. We can look for the other half. Given that that Ragavan hit us every turn for <laughs> six turns, I think, uh, yeah, we put up a good fight there, but just needed to find find the payoff. Okay, Sacred Foundry. Is it Ragavan again? It is Ragavan. Okay, we have got the ability to solitude that. Need white mana here. 
uh, graveyard that one okay let's do this I'm just gonna do this now in case we find a white card which we do but I think I'm just gonna put on this watery grave now or not bottom and then I think I think we'll let the ragavan hit us once like if it hits thought seize then that's rough but then if we manage to s i guess we need another white card for solitude ephemerate but i think that's a better option let it hit us once okay they get a gorio's vengeance which is fine okay but like this is where we really want solitude ephemerate to come through I kind of just want them to tap out here. Okay, there's no slot. Well, maybe I was meant to subtlety that. Okay, there's a solitude. So now we go land. Do we pass? Do I do it now to make them use the treasure if they want to discharge? I think I'm going to Tainted Indulgence first as well. Johnny. Okay. Mm, that is the city's blessing. Two cards in hand for the opponent. Another Rajani. Okay, so. <laughs> This is them tapped out. So now I think we go solid. Uh, we can go tainted indulgence. Discarding grizzle brand. Go and get a basic planes. Solitude, pitch solitude. Uh, right, what are we going to get rid of? I think we get rid of the Ajani. Yep, let's solitude that Ajani. Then we can go ephemerate here. And then with this one, we'll eat the Ocelot Pride. I guess they might give Ragavan flying. But then in our upkeep, we can Gorio's Vengeance. I suppose they might have... Mm, they've got one card in hand. Uh, yeah, we'll take five here. They hit an attractor. So in response to this trigger, are we actually meant... I think actually I'm just going to ephemerate the solitude. I think I'd rather do that. Ephemerate here. Uh, let's take care of the Ajani. Uh, we'll see what we draw. Okay, we draw an archaeologist. So let's go Goro's Vengeance, the Grizzle brand. They could have. I guess they could have had Surgical. 
I'll attack for seven. Go to 18. I'm going to draw 7 here. No ephemerate, sadly. But we do find some good stuff. So we can go and get basic island here. And we can just move to discard. Uh, yeah. But then we go move to discard. It's got a track, sir. And ley line binding. Then we have the purge, which is nice. I mean, next time we just wrath of the skysing, I think. Okay, there's flage. Oh, I should I should have subtletyed that. That was bad. Yeah, I should have subtletyed that. Okay, so how much damage are we taking here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I really should have subtletyed that. What are they going to give flying? Hopefully the Ragavan, but... Okay, so that's some counters there. So this is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I fetch, I mean, whatever happens, I need to fetch the basic island. Well, I could fetch, actually, I wonder if it's better to just bring in a Traxa here. If we fetch island and purge the Ragavan, we take one, two, three, four, we take eight. I think that's better. Purge here. I mean, this is obviously awful into lightning bolt. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to two. Please do bolt. Okay, another pride is fine. They have zero cards in hand. So Wrath of the Skies is mana value, right? So we can go, these are all CMC one or less. <laughs> so we've got no basics, but we can gain some life with Atraxa. So let's go Gorio's Vengeance, Atraxa, black, blue. Let me find an Ephemerate. Let's go Ephemerate, Solitude. Uh, I guess we'll just... We need a white mana, so a good godless shrine. Saves us one point of damage. We are going to have to lose our Atraxa here. I suppose we could go hey, like we could go ephemerate. We could go ephemerate the Atraxa. I think that's I, th I think we're better off just wrathing. Like just set them back to zero. Like we lose the attracts, uh, but we've got low we've we've now got so much stuff in hand. Just gonna play a grindy game, like um, we just we can just plan B it now. Um, yeah, like subtleties, good. It could have been that I was meant to archaeologist here, but I think just playing it very very slowly. Like just cast a subtlety. on top oh maybe i wasn't meant to do that <laughs> just because they've got a flage in the graveyard okay go 
two to six. Uh, I'm going to get Jetmir's Garden, I think. Uh, could have surveilled there. Oh, we have Ephemerate for subtlety. Again, probably should have played the Archaeologist there. Play it now. Take a purge. Pass the turn. Slowly beating down. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to ephemerate the subtlety here. And then we can ephemerate the archaeologist on the way back down. Put it on the bottom. Let's go more white mana ideally. Uh, we'll graveyard that one. Just go indulgence. Just looking for our threats. I think we've gone we've gone through three. Oh, did I cut the Ulamog? Nope. Well, we'll ephemerate the archaeologist. Okay, we'll take another ephemerate. <laughs> Still no... Um... Okay, another wrath. Attack with our subtlety. I'm probably just going to flash in solitude here. I think we could have done... I probably am not playing up to me. I think just letting... No, Rajani. We don't want to let Rajani resolve. Just because it brings a friend. Yeah. Okay. We would eventually win that one, I think. <laughs> I don't think we want Spell Bomb. It is tempting, but I think what we've got going on is probably just better. So, yeah, we'll just go go with this. Right. Be on the draw, which is obviously a lot harder. We've got two priests. We've got some reanimation stuff. I've got one removal spell. Um, but these priests aren't great on their own. I think I'm going to mulligan. I think we want something a bit quicker. Ooh, yikes. Okay. Wrath of the Sky is obviously good, but I think, yeah, one land. Okay, this is better. So we'll keep this bottom. So we definitely want the lands. I think we want to keep hold of the Ulamog and the Goryeo's Vengeance. So I think we bottom one of the Ephemerate. I think I'm just going to bottom the Purge. See, not ideal mulliganing, but okay. Let's go flooded strand pass. See if we can high roll again. Well, that's another ocelot pride, which is pretty good. Well, this just gets very silly very quickly. So we need black and white mana. So get a shadowy back street. Ephemerate. Don't want that one. Gonna have to take some damage. This is just getting out of control already. Okay, marsh flats. Uh, we haven't got blue, but do I? Oh, we need to. We need to get blue anyway. How afraid are we of Blood Moon? Well, we can't get blue with that anyway. Hmm. I'm just, I think I'm just going for this. Go for the Archaeologist. Uh, double Goryeo's Vengeance, but no threat. Okay. So we can block something now. We really don't want to see a blood moon. Okay, fetch shock, so probably not a blood moon. Could be flage. 
page would be I mean it's not awful opponent's gonna hit us for four down to 11 make two more cats actually that might be the city's blessing oh no not quite okay we draw another land so I think we'll again I think we're just gonna try and high roll it so go we want more white probably Let's go archive Graveyard that one, play the archaeologist. Okay, we'll take Wrath of the Skies. It's not a bad one to find if we're gonna like that will destroy all of the opponent's stuff. We will be going to five life though. I think we have to wrath now. Okay, purge is fine. So let's go wrath on one. Pay one energy. Wrath is so good. I guess the problem comes if they have fetch land doesn't do it if they have they didn't have a land last time containment priest okay that is annoying didn't expect that one i didn't know that that was in the sideboard of this kind of deck okay here comes something hasty Static prison. Okay. We could dash a ragavan. Which would be pretty brutal. Yeah. Okay, I think that's us done for. I don't think we can find anything now. Faithful mending is probably our best draw. Don't want to see them make a red mana here, really. Uh, yeah, I think we're probably done now. Uh, there's a grizzle brand. Okay, we'll concede. So, yeah, uh, maybe didn't keep quite as good hands in that last one as we as I should. Maybe could have played it a little bit better. I mean, this is the thing about the energy deck, right? They go uncontested they go turn one ocelot pride turn two ocelot pride start hitting in when we're not we're kind of not doing anything it's just really a, a beating um but i'm really impressed with the deck i'm going to try out a few more uh iterations of it but um yeah shout out to rvng again for the list and do go and check out their patron but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon cheers